Some of us want the snow and some of us don't. But most of us here are probably asking, how much snow will I get in my area this winter season? Well, I am going to answer that question for you this video. This is my snowfall forecast for the 2024 to 2025 winter season. Before we get into our snowfall map, we're going to display a few graphics which present the different factors playing into the forecast. This first graphic here shows the average snowfall for any given place receives in a season. The tan shade represents areas which get no snowfall during winter. The teal shade represents areas which get between 0.1 to 3 inches of snow. The blue shade represents areas which get between 3.1 to 6 inches of snow. The dark blue shade represents areas which get between 6.1 to 12 inches of snow. The light blue shade represents areas which get between 12.1 to 24 inches of snow. The dark purple shade represents areas which get between 24.1 to 36 inches of snow. The light purple shade represents areas which get between 36.1 to 48 inches of snow. The gray shade represents areas which get between 48.1 to 72 inches of snow. Lastly, the white shade represents areas which get 72 or more inches of snow in a season. This next graphic shows the precipitation anomalies during La Nina years. It shows the anomalies for weak episodes and moderate to strong episodes. There are four categories for each anomaly, November through January, December through February, January through March, and February through April. The graphic for the weak episode shows that drier conditions are favored in the southwest and east coast while wetter conditions are favored across the northwest, south central, and Ohio Valley regions. The midwest and north central regions seem to be a toss-up, as there is no significant correlation. These general patterns described are generally consistent to throughout all four monthly increments. The graphic for the strong episodes show that drier conditions are favored for the southeast and wetter conditions are favored for the northwest. These are not the only areas that will see drier or wetter conditions, though. As we approach the January to March and February to April timeframe, wetter to much wetter than average conditions are favored in parts of the southeast and Ohio Valley. Additionally, drier than average conditions are favored in the southwest during this time frame as well. These drier conditions also spread into the Midwest during the February to April time frame. All of these anomalies described in this episode do not have a clear pattern, making it much harder to forecast. This graphic shows the snowfall compared to average from the 2022 to 2023 winter season, which was the last time we had a La Nina. That year resulted in well above average snowfall for the western half of the country, especially in the higher elevations while the eastern half of the country received below normal snowfall. Snowfall was especially below normal in the lower northeast and mid-Atlantic. This particular year, which produced a similar output to the one we could be seeing this year, was a very extreme year in terms of having above and below average snowfall areas, as the surpluses and deficits were nowhere close to the average mark, meaning they were either well above or well below. Well, we aren't expecting a repeat of that year. We could see similar results, which is the reason why I wanted to display this graphic. The last graphics I will show are actually the temperature and precipitation graphics I made myself in my latest winter forecast. Generally speaking, areas that are expected to get colder than average temperatures and above average precipitation are more likely to see above average snowfall while the areas that are expected to get warmer than average temperatures and below average precipitation are more likely to see below normal snowfall. Any areas on the dividing line between above average precipitation and average temperatures, like the northeast and south central regions, have a good chance of seeing above average snowfall as well. Now it is time for the snowfall forecast map for the 2024 to 2025 winter season. This map is pretty chaotic, and it might be a little crazy at first glance because of how much is going on. Unlike traditional snowfall forecast maps made by other people, my map shows how much more or less snowfall you are expected to get rather than showing the total snowfall amounts expected for the season. Because of this format I choose to use, 
The map is loaded with colors and information. To help you guys navigate through the map, I will break down each section. Starting off in the south, the gray section is where no snow is expected this year. This covers the typical areas do not receive snowfall, but is also pushed a little bit farther north than normal. The yellow section is where snowfall is expected to be 1 to 3 inches less than normal. This area primarily covers a large part of the south, as well as parts of the northeast. For the southern areas included in this section, this deficit may result in no snow at all because of how little snow these areas average. The orange section is where snowfall is expected to be 3 to 5 inches less than normal. This area primarily covers parts of the southwest, high south central, high southeast, and mid-Atlantic regions. These areas are more accustomed to snowfall, so snowfall throughout the year is still expected, just not as much as normal. The brown section is where snowfall is expected to be 5 to 8 inches less than normal. This area primarily covers parts of the southwest, high south central, and Appalachian Mountains. This is a significantly lower than average amount of snowfall expected. Even with this being the case, the higher elevations of the southwest and Appalachians will probably not notice it too much as they receive a lot of snowfall in a given year already. The red section is where snowfall is expected to be 8 to 16 inches less than normal. This area covers the high elevations of the southwest. This is a significantly lower than average amount and will be significant enough to leave a noticeable difference, even in the high elevation areas that receive large amounts of snow. The light blue section is where snowfall is expected to be 1 to 3 inches more than normal. This area primarily covers parts of the North Central, Ohio Valley, and northeast regions. These areas tend to receive a lot of snowfall on average, so this shouldn't be too impactful or noticeable. The dark blue section is where snowfall is expected to be 3 to 5 inches more than normal. This area primarily covers part of the north central, as well as northern California and northern Maine. This may be a little bit more impactful, as this could be the equivalent of one additional snowstorm to the year, but overall it is not anything to be concerned or excited about. The purple section is where snowfall is expected to be 5 to 8 inches more than normal. This area covers parts of the northwest, northern plains, and north-central regions. Some areas within these regions have been lacking significant snowfall over the last few years, so this could be a very impactful year for many. For others, it will be noticeable but not impactful since they are used to receiving lots of snow. Lastly, the pink section is where snowfall is expected to be 8 to 16 inches more than normal. This area covers parts of the Northwest and the Great Lakes. This year is looking to be an excellent year for the ski resorts out in the Northwest, as significantly above average snowfall is expected because of the active storm track. Out in the East, a very big lake effect snow year is expected, also because of the active storm track. The last time we had a forecast like this for these regions was the winter of 2022 to 2023, which unloaded historical amounts of lake effect snow, as many of you probably remember. While we aren't expected that kind of historical amounts as of now, we certainly can't rule it out if the conditions happen to set up right. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you found this video helpful and informative, and subscribe for more winter updates.